just have to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right. That's sounds good to me. Uh, Spartan King Tree says you pr you personally think your chat is the best on Twitch. I get many good laughs each time. I would have to say yes because I don't know any other chats. So of all the chats I know on Twitch, this is the best. <laughs> Junior Mint 007, Cheers, I found out I've been exposed to COVID. If I die, you know, my favorite, I, I'm a, his favorite. E-begging streamer by eBay. Never changed. Thank you, Junior Mint. Thank you for adding what seems to be a heartfelt sentiment with an insult. Because I always appreciate when I'm having a nice, chill, relaxing stream, returning to a game. First time in two months, having a good time with my audience. And then someone just unprovoked says something insulting to be a complete douchebag piece of shit. I enjoy that. It just sours everything, and we all just want toxicity to infest the stream. So fuck you. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now, get my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Smart King Cheese says, would you be creeped out or flattered if a fan sent you a handsome DSP doll that looks exactly like you? If the fan told me they had made it and that it was, you know, attention to detail and care, it was their hobby and they wanted to do it and I approved it, I would actually say that would be touching. If they just sent me a weirdo voodoo doll of myself, I'd probably burn it in my fireplace. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Guys, can we please stop spamming the chat? I mean it. You guys are spamming chat with fucking copy pasta. It's nothing to do with the stream tonight. I'm trying to have a chill stream. I need you guys under control. So please stop it immediately. I mean it. Immediately. Without, without delay. Right now. Chop, chop. Stop that shit. No. Spartan King. Cheery says, when I go to Streamlabs, it locks in my username as unchangeable, so I couldn't tip anonymously if I wanted to. Is that supposed to be the case? Yes. The way it works now, Spartan King, I had to change it. We had a guy who was coming in here and was completely making up names, insulting fucking names and terrible things. And so what we had to do now is make it so that you have to log in to tip me via Streamlabs. Sally didn't help. The guy then made new accounts every, like, five minutes to keep doing it. So, but no, I'm leaving that requirement in. You have to log into an account, whether it's uh, Twitch, YouTube, or a PayPal account. You have to log into something, and that locks in your identity. So, if you wanted to tip anonymously, it's very simple. Make a new account. Make a new Twitch account. Make a new YouTube account or a new PayPal that's not associated with Spartan King. And just tip under that new name, and I'll never know it's you. There you go. Would I fart into my mic at $2,000 or $200? I would fart into my mic for free. If you guys really wanted that, but the thing is, people might be so disgusted and revolted that they report me to Twitch, and then I get banned permanently for sharing my bodily functions, and I can't risk that. This is my job. I can't not work because I have the urge to fart, and you guys want to hear it, so it ain't gonna happen. No, I almost put on the fuzzy vest. That's a no-no. I told you guys, so we got about half an hour left. We're, we're $38 in tips. There's no way we're hitting the tips, call. I think I might as well just sell the vest and get rid of it. Or give it away to one of the islanders and say, here, you can actually have one of the vests because I think I'm done. I don't think I'll ever be wearing the vest ever again. I mean that, too. <clears throat> I don't foresee that ever happening. Ninstar Roots here. I said a few weeks ago I was doing a mini paper on your digital footprint for my college course. My professor knew who you were. He said he watched a documentary on you on YouTube. I'm afraid he may be a detractor. There, are, there really are no documentaries on YouTube about me. What there are are videos that are mostly just negative shit put together to get clickbait views. So He didn't watch a documentary. He watched clickbait shit and he thought that it was a documentary. He's stupid. Uh, Rafer, cheering and said, looking more scrumptious by the day. Alright, I know with this being scrumptious by the day. I don't want to hear this. The next person to say that I'm scrumptious is going to get a nice, old-fashioned, leaning manual. How about that? Then we'll see how scrumptious you think I am. <laughs> Alrighty then. Got the leaning manual. Slam! Fucking slam the keyboard. And everyone else who contributed, you know, for the $47 in tips that we did raise, I appreciate that. As I said, I don't think... We're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be hitting Skull ever again on this. I'm just being honest here. I mean, like I said, would I consider when I play Animal Crossing putting on the, the, the hat, the cowboy hat, if we double the Skull? Yes. But I'm not going to be playing it regularly, and honestly, without the vestry, I don't think this is the kind of game that will ever warn or that kind of interest where I'll hit the Skull. I'm just saying. So, I guess that's going to be it. We're probably not going to be wearing the fuzzy vest ever again. Um. I. Don't. Care. You. Are. Stupid. This morning, I had my virtual doctor's visit with an ear, nose, and throat doctor. All right? He goes, all right, after this conversation, I want you to come into the office. I want to see your ears in person to get a, get a look. He says, it could be anything. He says, it could be, you know, uh, it could be the skin condition. It could be you have impacted earwax in your ear, in your right ear. Because remember, the ear infection always starts in the right ear. 
and it's stuck in there and it's causing, you know, repeated bacterial infections and then it just happens to carry over because of things you touch and everything. He said, it could be a lot of stuff. And there's no way he's going to know what it is unless I go in person. And then he, this is what I actually appreciated. He apologized to me. This guy is 1 million percent a pathological liar and a sociopath. He said, you got to understand something. The reason that healthcare is like this right now is because of COVID. He says, if this were a normal world right now, you would have went right to the ENT. Like he says, once you described all these issues and everything, if it was a non-COVID world, chances are I would have seen him first earlier in the year and I never would have had to waste time getting repeated eardrops, having repeated ear infections. I wouldn't have ever had to go to urgent care for the wasted visit like I had to two, year, two, two weeks ago. Basically, he says, this is all because of COVID. You're like, and this sucks because he's now on phone wasting time again. He's like, you should have been in here already. <laughs> White people are entitled and they complain about things and they call them Karens. They only care about themselves and their own personal rights and shit. They don't care about anyone else. So he says he's going to have his office call me and arrange for an appointment. Of course, keep in mind, getting an appointment with the ENT apparently could take upwards of three weeks or more. So chances are I'll probably end up seeing this doctor probably sometime in November, which I'm still happy about. I want to see the doctor and I want to get this, you know, taken care of. Um, you know, so I guess we'll see. The second piece of good news is I got paid by Twitch and yes, those cheers last month from Overpowered Boon were real. Oh my God, it's terrible, which is great. And essentially, here's the thing. I'm happy, but at the same time, I'm nervous. <laughs> I, you know, because here's why. I'll tell you why. Every time something really good happens to me, something bad then happens to counter it. As I've said many times, you know, people will get what's coming to them. It's called karma. We don't know. As you guys know, there was also several large cheers this month, last week, from a Big B Wolf. We don't know if Big B Wolf is the same person as Overpowered Moon, and we don't know if those were real or not. So again, it's kind of like another month of ongoing, gee, is this real or not? Is it going to count, or is it just a sham? In addition... Like I said, it seems to me that every time something really good happens, then something really bad happens. And what I'm hoping now is something crazy doesn't happen. I don't get a, sick, a sickness that costs me thousands of dollars. Something doesn't break in my house that costs me thousands of dollars to replace. Um, something crazy, you know, you know, something that makes me so I can't stream. You know what I mean? I just, I get nervous. I get anxious. It's ang what it is, it's anxiety. I have anxiety now because it's like, wow, I got relief knowing that there's some really good thing going on right at the same time what's going to happen to ruin it for me and i know that sounds sorry that sounds very cynical and and it should i shouldn't be like that i should be a positive person and i should feel very happy that someone went out of their way last month to support me in a very very generous way and it's going to help me out i love hulk hogan's dick chief seattle did a 50-bit cheer tonight and says i saw two of you saying that you i love hulk hogan's dick that was clearly taken out of context. Do you remember the context behind why you said it? Just curious. Yeah, because Hulk Hogan has a ginormous schlong. It's just like hugely massive. And he swings that shit around and like, you know, you got to admire the girth. What do you think? Also, I'd like to say moderators. I know there's a few moderators in here today. Please keep your eyes open. Someone just came in and did something gross and you completely ignored it. And then I had to take care of it manually, which I understand it's the pre-stream. You're probably not actively looking at the chat as much, but... I need my moderators to be on the ball here so I don't have to go out of my way to do stuff like this, especially with something disgusting that was just said. Okay? So I don't know who, what, which moderators are here. I know there was a couple here earlier. Please keep your eyes open for this kind of stuff, all right? Do we have any mods, please? Mods, please check the chat. I'm playing the game. Mods? Any mods? Moderators? Please, by all means, the best way to contribute, in my opinion, is tipping. Because when you tip, I get those funds right away and I can put them towards important things. Now, something I announced yesterday, someone asked me a question. And the question was interesting and I'd like to do a follow-up to it. Someone said, Phil, you're not actually wearing the headphones on every stream anymore because you're trying to prevent having ear infections. Okay? This is correct. They also brought up the, part, the, the fact that the reason that I stopped wearing cowboy hat for a tips goal on stream is because I felt that number one, it was too intrusive to the gameplay because I wasn't able to wear the headphones. 
And number two, because it was causing, like, heat on my head. So now that I have some certain streams, I'm not wearing the headphones anymore. Does that mean that if we hit the tier two tips goal, which would be $200 on that stream, would I put on the cowboy hat? The answer I have to that is yes. It's, it's gross. It's for this. It's not because they love what they're doing. It's not because for the love of the game or because they're true gamers. It's for this. And this is what it's become. If I'm wearing a game where I know I'm not going to be wearing the headphones, for example, tonight when I play Batman Arkham City, there's no reason whatsoever to be wearing the headphones. I'll just put them around my neck. All right. If we raise two hundred dollars during the night stream, I will put on the cowboy hat as the as the special celebratory goal. Okay. But it'll depend on the game. That's the answer that I have for you. So this is kind of good because sadly, as you guys know. There was no tier 2 tips goal for the last week and a half, two weeks, because I can't spin in this chair. I'll knock over all the Halloween decorations behind me, right? So I stopped doing that. And, uh, and now we're going to be doing this instead, okay? I am an evil, dirty, heinous scammer who steals money from little children. <laughs> Still have indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency no respect no common sense no fucking maturity is the guy who just doesn't get reality <laughs>